Good evening, everyone. It's me, Chomingo, and welcome to the hospital. Oh, what? Oh, so loud. When the virus got me, I was hoping I could be among the majority who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wrecks havoc. A havoc, I don't know, that's ain't word. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. Oh no. It's one of these games where my, my mouse get gets away from the screen. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday, at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under, under to intubate me if my condition deteriorated further. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to go, dying alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven, or in any of those fairy tales. Stop breathing, you annoy me. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Ooh, that's so deep. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can barely breathe. Hmm. Come on, fall asleep. Come on, fall asleep now. Let's go. There you go. Kind of dark. Oh, and uh, I just wake up and I'm standing. All right, that's that's normal. I'm up. How am I up on my feet? Oh, all right, it's part of the game. I can't remember getting out of bed. Of bed. Ooh, I can't talk. Hint: Walk around using WASD keys. Look into. Uh, look with your mouse. Observe your surroundings by clicking on object in the world. Ooh. The game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Oh wait, it's a it's a long game. Stop it, stop it, sound. My bad. It looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off? Uh, when did I get f off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too. As if this room was recently v v vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Yeah, I can wa uh, walk normally and he's not... I guess it's... It's normal to him. The bathroom doors appear to I don't know. I didn't. <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> There's someone out there. Could be a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. Damn, I was not expecting a jump curse to be so quick. So fast. Happening. Everything is going on so fast. Where is everybody? When I checked in there, in here, these corridors were. A, a buzz with activity day and night nurses and doctors bustling about tiny announcement urgently paging doctors orderlies wheeling patients to different wings it's dead silent now unnerving can I open this door it's locked strange there are no signs I could swear there were signs beside these doors cardiology obst obstetrics radiology etc where does this door lead the windows are up like I can't see a thing through them all right is it really gonna talk that much uh, every single thing going on I can't run I hope not because it's gonna be annoying I don't think I'm gonna read out everything no luck the window uh, open out the elevator that would have been my way out, except it looks like it can't lead. Oh, fucking hell! Stop that, please! A woman, a nurse, or a doctor, perhaps a fellow patient. It's so loud! Please! A map! I 
can't understand this. Uh, there's no room numbers. All right, nothing to say about that. And that this is like, these doors, they're ajar. I don't know what that means. The corridor stretches onward beyond. The figure I saw earlier must have gone through here. Ooh. Let's follow the creepy monster. Me and my buddy, that is myself. I'm very lonely. I'm a very lonely person. I don't have much friends. It's okay. It's the same... Why are they deserted? All the doors locked. There's gotta be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. Yeah, man. There's gotta be someone. I'm not gonna bother opening all the doors, which I'm pretty sure they're all locked. Never mind, they're not locked. I'm knocking from the other side of, of this door. Oh, I can't open it. <gasps> who pooped on the bed? A room looks just like the one I was in. But it's in a state of disarray. There appears to be something on the bed. It's poop, don't touch it. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna taste it. Uh, there's some kind of a stain in the middle of it. I guess it wasn't clean after the last patient departed. No, 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 Sound came from out there. The bathroom. The bathroom. Fuck you, bathroom. Thank you. I can't. Ah. Uh, at least I got a little sniff out of the the poop bed. I must be a man. Maybe that's this whole thing. Some lucid dream I'm having while I'm still laying in bed in some kind of coma. Ooh, maybe that would be some some sick plot twist that no one would have expected. All right. Open this door. Oh, wait, this is not the same corridor. Now that we're making it. <gasps> oh, stop, noise. Noise, shut up. Oh, please. Please. This door is locked. And let's go in this. I hope this lady will not attack me soon enough. Can I sleep on there and pretend like I'm dead? Oh, god damn it! Ah. And now it's locked. There's the body, the corpse. If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. Yeah, you're goddamn right it is. Go in the is someone toying with me? Am I being lead? That figure I saw. Yeah, that that one was not really scary game, I'm sorry. I uh, in which I'm trying, I can't even be her. Who is this lady girl? This is locked. Oh, fuck me! Oh. Oh, is this this door? Is this this uh, No. Alright, I'm gonna go there. Oh, no, it's that. it was that. And that's the thing that got unlocked. Enter! Hello, lady! What the fuck? What the hell? What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they're arranged. It looks like the apartment where we used to live, but everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table here. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, stop. No. Oh, my God. Stop it, lady. It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia. Is that you? The characteristic silence. This cannot be happening. This is some monstrous dream I must wake from. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are floating back. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life? Had I done things differently? And at what cost? I, I don't know. I, I can't. I'm not being... Immersed right now. I don't know who that person is. I'm sorry for what happened to you. <laughs> sorry. Mm, what does she want? Oh no! Please, everything but your face, lady. You're disgusting. Yeah? Did I? Did, did that really happen? Am I going crazy? 
Or is this a fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away in a coma on a hospital bed? Oh, a photo! Yeah. Hey, uh, quick way to uh, fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening sights of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent, shift, in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, and obsession with my whereabouts self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. She refused, and it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us. I ended our relationship, and then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me. Her dark eyes, empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand... Oh, oh no, what was it? You have to tell me, or else I'm gonna die. Armchair. Oh, alright. No, I don't care. This, I don't care. They live together in this apartment. Alright. I got the most important part. I don't... Fuck. Fuck. What is this place? Hmm... I don't know, what is this place? It's the hospital, but everything is so disgusting now. <gasps> oh no. You can't do this to me, Ben. After all we've been through together. You can't... You can't... You can't betray me like that. Oh no, there's gonna be... It's gonna be... I know what you're gonna do to... Uh, Bed, you wouldn't do that to me, right, Bed? Oh. Alright. Bed, it seems like I can trust you again. It's fine. I wanted to trust you. Never betray my trust, Ben. Alright. Doesn't budge. Fuck. Now I gotta get back to close to the body and the body is gonna move, isn't it? Oh, fuck you, Ben! I thought we had a deal! I thought we had a deal! I'll remember this. I will remember this. I'd go in this room now. What? What? What is this? What's going on? Oh no, all the bad are gonna get close to me. No. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. That's good. Nothing bad happening so far. Just a few bed moving. Like the usual. It's fine, really. Really. I'm used to it. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> that was... I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be honest, game. That was a bit delayed. Nia, not nine, four years ago. When I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it. And held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the, that, the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later I got that terrible call. Oh no. So much suspense. I'm starting to get hooked by the story. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, the sound. Oh no. Oh no, oh god, why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me that you'd written on that note you left your last word. Oh. Oh, she seems happy. What do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Ah, oh, fuck, I got it. Alright. Oh, it's pitch black now. Door. Alright. Game, please, it's not working. Nia, what do you want from me? I think of that note you left, the last words you ever wrote. Mm -hmm. What word of words? You wrote, I'm never gonna let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what is this about? That, had I done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive. 
Don't come closer to me. Don't come closer. Oh, fuck you. Oh. Oh, I was kind of expecting it, though. Oh. But I was expecting her to be directly in my face, but she just started running at me. I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I gotta leave, then. Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital, smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home. Or shadowy halls hunted by, hunted by my past. Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever, a fever, fever, flavor, dream born of guilt? Or am I dead? And is this my afterlife? These dread halls and a tormented soul stuck in me for all eternity. Oh. Ooh, that would be sad. Oh. The end. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Another last jump scare? Right? Ah, oh, I know. No more jump scares. Well, Anyway, guys, that was it for the video. Um, I don't know what I thought about this horror game. It's It was, like, very story-driven. And uh, there was some good jump scare, but overall, I, it was pretty... Uh, eh, yeah, it was pretty... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. If you did, well, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.